Hey everyone! Welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for in-depth analysis and discussions on current events in Asia. Today, we're delving into a recent development in Singapore involving the woman at the center of a viral incident at Singapore General Hospital, SG. If you find this content intriguing, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Also, drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Now, let's get into the details. In a significant turn of events, local authorities have deported the 29-year-old Chinese national, Han Fizi, who gained notoriety due to a confrontation with a police officer at SG. This incident, which took place on November 8, led to her work pass being revoked and a ban on her reentry into Singapore. The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, ICA, confirmed that Han Fizi was deported to China on the same day as the incident. Additionally, the Ministry of Manpower, MOM, revealed that her work pass had been revoked following her sentencing last month. This move, along with a permanent ban on working in Singapore, marks a stern response from the authorities. Let's rewind a bit. On October 25, Hanfizi was sentenced to five weeks and five days in jail, accompanied by a 600 Singapore dollar fine. The charges against her included false declarations on her work permit application. Originally applying to work as a clerk, she instead engaged in freelance hostessing at various locations from August to October, a stark violation of her work permit terms. During the court proceedings, it was disclosed that Hanfizi had misrepresented her intentions, initially stating she wanted to work as a clerk for KDL Elements but later admitting she came to Singapore for fun. This revelation not only raised questions about the integrity of her application but also highlighted a significant deviation from her stated purpose. Aside from the headline-grabbing confrontation with the police officer at SGH, and Fizi faced additional legal issues. Reports mention an intoxicated altercation with a security guard at the sale at Marina Bay. This adds a layer of complexity to her case, reflecting a pattern of behavior that goes beyond a single isolated incident. As we wrap up this exploration of the SGH incident and its aftermath, it's crucial to consider the broader implications of such cases on immigration policies and public safety. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe the authorities' response was justified? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. If you enjoyed this analysis, give it a thumbs up, share it with your circle, and don't forget to subscribe to 2230 for more captivating insights. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.